Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for tuning in. I really appreciate your attention. Today we're going to talk about clipping a dog's nails. Nails. I know there's a ton of people out there that struggle with this or dogs that struggle with this. And uh, we're going to get into it, but first, uh, gentlemen's agreement, if you watch my videos and you get value out of them, I'm not asking for much, just a just a little handshake by clicking that subscribe button below, liking the video and leaving a comment because it all goes a long way. I'm really trying to get into this YouTube algorithm and I can't really do that without your help. So again, all I'm asking, gentleman's agreement, little gentleman's handshake, shout out to Jesse on fire. This is how he's done it and he's gotten a lot of, uh, a lot of good feedback and a lot of good results out of asking in this way. So without further ado, let's get straight into cutting a dog's nails and talk about a certain a couple certain things because as i sit here and do this with her it might look a little different to, to to your particular dog that might be even a little more fearful than to have this done than than rosie might might be um and i'm going to talk about those potential possibilities and what you might be able to do uh, to help that but let's just talk a little bit about rosie's uh pr particular situation where at the very beginning when we first started when we first started doing this, Rosie would rather die than me clip her nails. And as I looked around on the internet and I started looking and seeking help, uh, I started to see that people were saying, well, this is a breach in the relationship. She doesn't trust you to do this. And that really hurt my feelings because I had been working really, really hard at that time to build the type of relationship where my dog doesn't ever think I'm going to hurt her. But for whatever reason, maybe I did it wrong at the beginning. Maybe I cut too short at the beginning. Maybe I didn't do it enough. Um, she just really, really didn't trust me. And even now today, um, all these years later, she doesn't like it. But as you'll see, as we start to get into this, she'll tolerate it. And there's a couple of certain specific things that I've done to get her to this point. Namely, sometimes at night, down. See, she's actually already skeptical of it. Come here, down. At nighttime when she's relaxing, I'll just, um, and I'll bring a little food into it, down. I'll just like massage her paws. When she's like half asleep, I'll just massage her paws just like this, and I'll give her some food while I'm doing it, just to kind of help her build an association that when my hand comes near your paw, nothing bad happens. As a matter of fact, something really good happens. So I'll just sit there and I'm not cutting the nails. I'm not trying to cut them or anything. I'm just sort of like uh, introducing this little, you know, desensitization theory while I touch her paws and I give her food as a result. Okay. And the other thing is I'm not really expecting to get all 10 of her front toes all at once. Okay. Now this is like a process and it's going to take some time. So basically what I'll do is I'll get it prepared. She sees them. I put them down and I give her a piece of food. That's also it. I don't want her thinking that when I pick these up, it's immediately go time. I picked them up and she got paid. Okay. Back in the day, I'd pick them up and she'd run out the fucking door. Okay. And I just started doing this. Boom. Something really cool happens when I pick these things up. Right. So that's what we're going to do. And then come here. Get her a little bit closer. Down. Get her back in a down position. I'll grab one toe, click just the tip, and then boom, immediately pay. That's just one, dude. Good girl. That's just one, okay? And all we're going to do is one. I'm super happy with that. Up, up. Good. Down. Good. So this is, this is like, if you knew what she was like before, this is just absolute magic. She's actually trusting me. And I just do the tip. Good. Maybe help her, help her stay a little bit. You don't have to run away from this problem because, hey, nothing bad's happening. I'm not going to cut too short. Down. No, down. Good. Get one more done. Good girl. A little tippy. Good. Good. I didn't get that one short enough. Let me see. Good. That's a good girl. This is it, you guys. I don't really have a whole lot more to add. I'm going to finish doing these nails one by one. Um, uh, if you guys have anything to add, if you have your own stories, uh, let me know in the comments. Maybe I can learn something from you guys as well. 
Uh, my goal here uh, at TFE TV is to help you guys become better dog owners. My goal here is to to um, to just inform and, and to and, and to and to really connect with you guys as the viewer, as fellow dog owners. I don't see myself above any of you guys. We're all in this to be the best that we possibly can be for our kids, and that's all I want this channel to be about. Thank you so much. Please don't forget to like the video, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you got anything out of this. Um, Listen, I'm going to put it like this. The first video is free. You don't have to do anything like that. But if you watch multiple videos of mine, gentlemen's agreement, you got to subscribe. It's free. It doesn't cost anything. Do the right thing. I love you guys. Captain Chad, Rosie the Pit Mix. We're out. Mm -hmm.